Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Vitology Project. I'm Dr. Bob. Yesterday, we, we uh, took an even deeper dive into looking at what spiritual resources uh, might provide for us uh, during times of challenge and difficulty. And I'm talking about this uh, already, where we're already well into the third month of the uh, virus pandemic and the lockdown that resulted from it. So we're all in this together. And I provided a homework assignment, and it was this. I asked you to reflect upon any experience you, you may have had where you've been, it sounds paradoxical, but where you've been uh, visited by a kind of peace, even amidst a personal challenge or difficulty. In this case, we're talking about a collective challenge. <coughs> it's um, a huge stressor around the planet. And, and yet some of us, whether it's personal or collective, amidst stress have experienced an inbreaking of peace. Can you relate to that? Be curious to see what you came up with. I'm going to tell you a story. You know, I've been a teacher for over four decades now, and uh, a, a therapist and a counselor and a coach for that same period of time. So my entire adult career. And uh, I've had this experience uh, periodically across my career where I've had to notify classes that I'm teaching or clients that I'm working with, groups that I'm leading. I let them know when I'm feeling a bit under it. You know, sometimes it's owing to the, a little bit of a cold coming on or maybe it's just fatigue. And I'll just let them know. But that's not where I've stopped. What I'll say next is I've, I'll share with, with, whether it's a class or a client, I'll share with them that I've noticed over the years that for whatever reason, when I'm not necessarily on what I think of as my A game, not really at the top of my uh, functioning, that nevertheless, good things often happen. It's surprising to me, but they do. What's up with that? I've come to, to observe and, and to believe that when my typical resources, mentally, emotionally, those resources, when they're at least a little bit stretched, maybe, maybe mild to moderately stretched, that there's the possibility, at least for me, of an opening up into new insights, um, whether as a teacher or a counselor, or even as a friend. I think psychology talks about this when they say, they talk about the ego, that's our that's the self that we more typically access. When it's under it, when it's encumbered, uh, it may be less available. And I think when it's less available sometimes, there's less obstacle to communication, to creativity. Uh, at least that's been my experience. I wonder if you can relate to that. Sometimes when you've been slightly off, but at the same time, uh, creative, surprising things, compassionate things come through. And what I'd like you to do for today's homework assignment, this is all in context of looking at resources, spiritual resources that might be available to us during a time of stress. I want you to reflect yourself back on any experience you've ever had that has, in a sense, broken you open, broken you open from your more typical sense of being uh, kind of at the top of your game, uh, from feeling competent, uh, feeling with it. Anytime that you felt like something's come in and thrown you out of the saddle, so to speak, and yet at the same time have found yourself accessing uh, almost unusually keen resources within. So a time where you've gone through challenging uh, experience and found yourself being resilient, able to kind of rise out of your normal uh, uh, mode of being almost into something better. I know this sounds a bit odd. Uh, that's why I'm asking you, first of all, to identify any experience you've had, because I think if we move on and talk about spiritual resources, it's going to sound really odd because we don't conventionally operate. We have a language that focuses very much on kind of typical ego functioning. And if we move into talking about spiritual resources, it's almost like we have to find a different language for it. I just led a group tonight where we talked about the language of the heart. That's a way that we're thinking of this right now. Times where you've had an experience that you couldn't explain logically, and it really came through, even under duress. See what you find, and, and we'll move forward with lessons like this uh, that sometimes are accompanied by humbling experiences, oftentimes quite surprising experiences. I think of them as moments of resource, 
amidst limitation. That's really what we're talking about. One term for that would be grace, kind of unexpected resource amidst limitation. So come back and uh, join me as we continue this conversation tomorrow. I want to thank you for being with me today. Um, I wish you a good day. And ask you to please stay healthy and be well. And uh, here at the Vitality Project, we send you blessings. Thank you for being here. <laughs>